We're here for more Star Wars Visions. Thanks for checking out our little channel. We appreciate it. I'm going to just open by something very... This is critical. Let's just start with this. And there's no arguing. I've already got a, a list. And Adam, I'm just going to tell you, you agree with me. And it is number one so far, Ninth Jedi. The best. No doubt about it. We both agree on that. We have a video out there of us watching it. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Second is the duel. Number three is the village bride. Number four is the twins. And number five, the worst, was Tatooine Rhapsody. That's it. There's no arguing. That's it's fact. We, so. we, ver we vary on the second to last one. There's no varying. It's a fact. Uh, I think the village bride is not as good as the twins. Mm. Uh, but we both agree with what's on the top and what's on the bottom. And, you know, this one here, which, you know, it's got the title of uh, T0B1. Um, hmm. you know, it, it, it doesn't like roll off the tongue nearly as well as, um, some of the other ones, right? You know, uh, the, the, the ninth Jedi, the village bride, the duel, um, I'm assuming this one revolves around a droid based one on would the think. title. Yeah. Right. And, you know. These have been neat to do. I, I kind of like that they're their own self-contained storylines and, um, you know, they're not connected. We just kind of get to have fun. Though, after watching The Ninth Jedi, we were both like, yes, I want more of this story. Right. So, and, yeah. that being said, uh, that's a good and a bad thing that, you know, uh, they're not connected. But no, this one, um, you know, this one was directed by... I'm going to butcher these names. It's the I best. Apologize. This is my favorite part. Go on. Well, this one, you know, this is Abel uh, Go Gongora. Go Gongora? Something like that. Go uh, on. <laughs> Don't stop. Written by uh, Yuchiro Kido. Mm -hmm. And the studio for this is Science Saru. Mm -hmm. Um you know, I do not recognize that one. It's not like the last one where it was like, oh, I, I know that one really well. Uh, I do recognize some of the things that it has done. Um, Space Dandy, Garo the Animation, Garo Vanishing Line, Devil, Devil Man Cry Baby. So I do recognize some of the things they have done. Um, but it is not a studio that, it's not like Production IG that was like, oh, I know that studio right away. Looking at like the thumbnail I saw for this episode, it kind of gave me like a little bit of a, like an Astro Boy vibe to it. Yep. Um, I don't know so much that, about anime, but I know what Astro Boy is. And so, yeah, this is like the, the main, like, I think it's the main character just kind of gave off that vibe to me. So I had to say that it is, um, I, I don't know. I'm going into this thinking I'm not, I'm not thinking it's going to beat out the ninth Jedi. Um, but I could be wrong. It's it's up for proving me wrong and making me eat those words. But I don't think it's going to top the Ninth Jedi. I'm just it's saying it's probably that right now. best for both of us that we go into this assuming it won't. I don't know that it'll be as bad as Tatooine Rhapsody, but I don't also, think it'll be as good as the Also, probably best that we don't go into this thinking that it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, let's just go ahead yep. and jump into it. Uh, that's, sure. You know, that's what people really want to see is us watching this. So um, let's just jump to it. T zero B one. Okay, all done. T O B one. T O B one. Okay. Okay. O B one. Body kind of feels like a Mega Man. Yeah. But the head just kind of makes me think. Uh, Astro Boy. Astro Boy. Which the body is kind of Astro Boy esque. Also, I won't. You know, won't lie. See the carvings on the wall there? Yep. Oh, that now it's very obvious. Yeah. Come along, my children. Let's get to work. One of those guys who thinks his creations are his children. It's like an Edward Scissorhands. Or Pinocchio. Let's just keep moving our way back. Yeah, Geppetto. An android that daydreams and imagines. 
And I like that he's irritated with him. Like, oh, just another droid daydreaming that I created. I wanted to hear a Jedi does not seek those things. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> a Jedi craves not these things. I wonder if he actually thinks there's a Kyber crystal or he was just trying to give him something to go do. <laughs> Everywhere. The force is present in all things. But he's not a living thing. He said all things, Adam. He said all things. I don't know if this is some sort of test to see how far a droid can go with force sensitivity. I'm not sure what's happening here. There we go. I was waiting for it. Has there been one where they haven't said it? I, I didn't wasn't paying attention until it just happened so often. <laughs> Why not? Sir, we picked up a suspicious signal. Oh, <laughs> straight Star Destroyer going on here. Jedi. You're a Jedi? I had no idea. Hmm. Oh, no. Who buried him? The Sith wouldn't have cared. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm. I don't know how much time has even passed at this point. Well, he did kind of cause his death, so, you know. Use the force. Okay, so he, he, he builds his lightsaber. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of the kid robot, but, like, what, what's the lesson here? What, what, are we, what, what are we walking away with here? Oh, we're going to face some, uh, okay. Yeah, the action leaves a bit to be desired. By the will of the Force, Toby, rise as a true Jedi. It's almost like being knighted. Like I don't know that he has midichlorians, but right. But somehow we have a droid that needed confidence. I guess. Right. I can appreciate it. Okay, fine. Oh my god, this is turning dark. My name is Toby, and I'm a Jedi! CO3, let's go! <laughs> Get it. Boom. By the way, T.O.B. Wan? Guarantee ya, wouldn't wear a helmet in space. No, but the animation on this. Uh, okay, okay, over there. You take it easy. It's not over yet. Just I, I know what you're thinking. You and your nitpicking on the animation. Uh, it is over, actually. So okay, now it's over. F fine. I mean, the difference is like I've watched better animation. You just refuse to watch it, but at least you watched that. So uh, we're we're a step ahead. I, 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 if I had to choose animation-wise, I'd put. Tatooine Rhapsody above this. I disagree. This is now this is now my least favorite of them. No, no, no. It is my second least favorite. It does. It's not. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed it to a degree. I mean, I'm I'm clearly not in love with this episode because it's my second least favorite. It's above Tatooine Rhapsody for me. Um, but I feel like there are elements of this that I enjoyed. I I was debating. I was like, does this? surpass the twins and i had to see it through and i did and it doesn't surpass the twins but it is my second least favorite of what i've seen up to this point what about it is better than tattooing rhapsody i felt like the animation was uh was um inferior i felt like the storyline wasn't that wasn't that good tell me I all about the, the great storyline of tattooing rhapsody how great was that huh I mean, the, I mean, at the least it was a little. At least it was a little bit about you know going and protecting a friend who protected them. It just this was this but made there was no, no protection sense. here. Nobody was fighting any evil. There was none of that, huh? 
th this was this just made no sense. Uh, it just uh, yeah, it wasn't for me. Sorry, okay. you you well, can't see to... past animation, so you're gonna braid it off animation. That's fine. I'm saying no, that but this, in the, terms the, the, of Star Wars feel the... and getting the spirit of it, this was better how, than Tatooine. How Rhapsody. has this got any of the spirit? Better of Star than Tatooine Wars. Rhapsody. It's not a very high bar I'm setting here. I'm just saying it's better than yeah. Tatooine I, I, Rhapsody. I think they're so close that you know. I I mean, I'm not saying it beats it. Um, that Tatooine beats it like leaps and bounds, but I, I, I had to think Tatooine Rhapsody inches a little bit higher than that. I didn't love this. There were plenty of things that felt like it, it, at the end of the day, it, it was there. I don't, I would never go back to it. Um, but you know, my kids might get enjoyment out of it. I could appreciate that. I suppose they would have enjoyed Tatooine Rhapsody too. So it's not about that. I'm just saying like, I could see some heart behind it, I guess is my point more so than, as much as they tried with Tatooine Rhapsody. There is so much extra story you would have to include into this that's not there to make this work for me. And that's part of my problem. Like, oh, here's a droid that has feelings, but apparently right. can use the Force also. Um, you know, there was so much... He, he He's... he's doesn't have any arms, but the droid never picks up on the fact that he's been basically having to do everything armless, so he's obviously had to be using the Force up to this point, but it's not until he moves some stones of, oh, you're a Jedi? It I, just it, There was so much that was just not well explained in this at all. I agree that, with everything you're saying, but I could say, the wait, I just... The story was so lacking, the action movements, the animation, the style... There, it just, I'm, I'm sorry, there was, and I hate to say it, it's, wor for me, it's worse than Tatooine Rhapsody. Your criticisms, I agree with all of them. It's just, I have much more of cr those criticisms for Tatooine Rhapsody. Like, stylistically, I enjoyed this more than Tatooine Rhapsody. Maybe you Rhapsody. need to watch these two back to back and maybe you'll see a little bit different. Oh my God, don't put me through that. I said you, not me. So. I know, I said don't put me <laughs> through that. I don't want to sit here and watch those two again. They're at the bottom for a reason, but there's no doubt in my mind that Tatooine Rhapsody remains at the bottom of the list. So, And the Ninth Jedi still remains at the top. It is still yes. uh, at the top of the list. So three more episodes left to go. Um, will any of them beat out the Ninth Jedi for the top? Um, or will it remain victorious at the end of the nine episodes as the, the best one in our opinion? Who knows? But we'd love to get your comments on this. Did you find something really endearing about this or that you really hated or indifferent, whatever? Uh, leave your comments down below. And until next time, this is Adam and Andrew with It Takes Two Takes.